Rosalie Welters. Mm -hmm. I'm Evelyn Pepto. Hello. I'm Andrea Weiner. Hello. Why did you decide to join this musical, Chernobyl musical? Well, I thought the topic was really interesting mm -hmm. and I wanted to learn more about the topic and I really like acting and I haven't done so much of it so I thought this would be a good opportunity. Sounds good. And you, Vera, why did you decide to join? Mm, my friend showed me the script and I was like, mm, this is good. And then I heard about the casting. Yeah, why not? Mm -hmm. and, and you like it so far? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so tell me, Evelyn, what do you think is the easiest thing about your role as... Katerina. Katerina, right. Well, it's probably pretty easy for me because the role is... 13 years old and I'm 13 mm -hmm. so then like it's easier to relate and uh, like I don't have to work a lot on like how to act like a 13 year old. Mm -hmm. And do you think there is something difficult about your role as Katerina? Well Katerina is pretty different from me because like she's I'm rebellious too but I'm in a different way than Katarina and well yeah that's thank you Evelyn. Yana. Yana, yes thank you. Hello. What do you remember about the Chernobyl accident? I remember I was 23 years old and uh, the next day it happened I was running in a forest and it was raining very slowly, slowly and nobody told me it has happened this kind of accident. So I was in the middle of Finland at that time. How terrible, yes. Did any one of your friends or family get affected by the, the radioactiveness of, 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 of Chernobyl? Yes, actually, it was one my uh, very, very good friend. She was visiting Chernobyl at that time. It happened. She is a, a textile artist. And uh, two years or three years after Chernobyl, she got cancer because of that. And it was the cancer was here, so it was exactly the same type of cancer the others got also. So, but she did survive. Do you have any any other memory, any other memories about what happened? Yes, everybody was quarreling after that time because of information. We we wanted to get more information what is happening and can we pick fairies in a forest and can we run like usual and things like this and nobody helped us at that time. We were young students. <laughs> it was tragic. It was a very, very sad story. I believe it was.